Hey friends, we have got balance update for February 2024 released. So let's look at it. Note, this balance update will go live tomorrow, 1 p.m., whatever that means. You know your timelines. So this month, uh, there's a Super Bowl buffet for you, starting on the field, high-performance sportswear, is the champion's family. Yeah, yeah. Then nightmares of Atlantis are being buffed, and I will keep quiet about the stuff written below, which is absurd, but let's go into the actual stuff. So starting off, champion's family bonus has been changed from 30, 50%, 70% additional special skill damage for one, two, three members. It has got 35%, 50%, and the last one. So the first one has been increased. The middle one is the same, and the last one has been reduced. And it's still one, two, three members. Champion passive skill changed. Mana generation ailment Protection skill change to mana. Buff on status ailment received for all members of the family. So old one was all status ailments and negative stacks that affect mana generation are replaced by plus 30% mana gen status effect for three turns. The new one is the character with this skill receives plus 24% mana generation for three turns when they receive any status ailment or a negative stack. Yeah, okay. A little change. Norman direct damage has been increased from 285 to 320% as if he needed one. <laughs> Satori didn't need anything and he gets passive skill uh, health boost on buff dispel from 200 to 450 HP which means this guy will keep healing himself and kicking everybody's ass. Base direct damage increased from 285 to 315%. Direct damage against cleansers and dispellers increased <laughs> from 570 to 630%. Really? Nightmares of Atlantis hero changes. So, some sense has been brought into Medea. Her attack uh, stat has been reduced to, reduced by I think 20 points to triple nine. That looks like a very vicious number. <laughs> Defense has been increased and health uh, is almost the same, a little upswing. And uh, the specials have been cleansed up and made more proper. Randomness has been removed and specific city has been brought in. So the old one was a random hit target automatically casts shifting mindless attack on a random ally when mana is full at the start of a turn. The new is target automatically casts shifting mindless attack to a random ally when mana is full at the start of a turn. So randomness is gone. Now you can actually focus on a target and give a whack. Um, direct damage has been increased from 350% to 365% for the first cast and the second cast is 400 to 430%. When encountered as a boss, blah, 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 that's irrelevant. So that you'll see when you reach that particular stage. Uh, Atlantia receives a stats boost, attack goes up, defense goes up, and so does the health. Health is quite good. Actually, all of the stats boost for Atlantia is good. Then uh, the first cast, corrosive uh, damage has been increased from 123 to 158 frost damage per turn overall going up and uh, corrosive frost attack reduction from minus seven to minus eight per turn okay um, then subsequently also there is a little bit of a increase in the second cast that's fine when encountered as a boss that is encountered as a boss so I'm gonna skip that Domiventus gets stats boost in all three, attack, defense, and health. And uh, first cast, direct damage increased from 350% to 380%. Corrosive burn damage 
increased from 130 to 152 burn damage per ton overall. So obviously it stacks up overall. Uh, second cast 390 to 455%, which is quite decent looking at that. Now comes the real tricky one. <coughs> this is comical. So legendary tune costume bonus changes. Old was 35% attack, 35% defense, 60% health, a whopping 60% health, and 5% mana. The new is incremental, 40% attack, 40% defense, and 65% health. I think they're laying the groundwork to not upset players and keep pulling. Uh, none of the tunes needed any attack boost via the costume route. Their attack is already insane. What they needed was the passive to be made sensible. 75% so chance of not getting any debuff, any ailment or any mana change or reduction was a, is not was, is a big BS uh, passive. It's almost like a hundred percent and that's outright stupid. So I somehow suspect that they have got the light bulb at small giants open. Not that they needed to, they already knew. They know the manipulation and the dirty games that they're playing on this particular topic. And I call it dirty because it's absolutely shitty. And uh, so maybe the ground has been set in March, we will get the passives being made sensible. It might get reduced to 60 or even 50%. I don't think so. They will reduce it beyond 50%, the passive. But it needs to be brought down significantly because it's just pure tile damage that you have to use. And when you look at the health bonus, it's now going up from 60 itself was a humongous one. And now it is like 65, so 5% additional. So, yeah, that's that. Tunes. <laughs> Hero changes. Tame Tomo gets... Stats boost, and also in the specials, he's doing his thing. <sighs> in all the three speeds, <laughs> he was, I think, introduced without a test in beta. I don't remember, but okay. Uh, there are changes to Heroes of the Month. So Zeline gets a boost, direct damage increased, from 143% to 195%. When encountered as a boss in Tavern of Legends, I don't care. Zelin costume gets direct damage increase from 130 to 180%. And she's a hit all hero. Kunchen, direct D, direct heal increase from 42 to 45%. As if anybody is going to use him. Jean Francois, burn damage. <laughs> 453 to 519. Does that even matter? There are heroes that give 1500 <laughs> over three turns or four turns. <laughs> this should have been bumped to 1000. That might make sense, or even 900. <laughs> Stupid. Urea's direct damage increased from 485 to 535%. Sand damage has been increased. From 315 to 408 damage over three turns. Really? Iris, direct damage increased 325 to 375%. Vesalis, oh yeah, the guy who kills minions, yes. Direct damage increased from 260 to 310%. And poison damage by a whopping. <laughs> 484 to 572. Other heroes. And this might make certain people happy. Fortuna's direct damage increased from 120, measly 120% to 150%. Okay, that's nice. Corrupted Mask Fiend attack increased from 45% to 55%. I think she's slowly moving towards getting those scopes... <laughs> Numbskull, I don't even know who this hero is, but direct damage increased 
from 100 to 150 percent i think there's a slow guy in monster hunter somewhere somewhere like that the bone skull minion inherited attack 15 to 20 and damage on destruction 55 to 85 okay bug fix some bug has been fixed as if his coil his coil himself is loaded with bugs and bugs the hell out of most players actually not most all players the ones who are not at the receiving end they are the ones smiling mana gen uh, reduction no longer stacks with other status effects that modify mana generation so these are the changes in february 2024 hope this clarifies and helps some of them are outright stupid and not required like this one and uh, <laughs> what do i say there is nothing of any sense in this honestly from my perspective and understanding so um there are some pluses like fortuna's uh attack numbers going up they're still low i feel but that's me feeling and uh, that's it um media's thing becoming more specific should be a good news for certain f players who have her because firing her and sh uh, it's it's something really funny that you fire a hero and the hero is going to go random i mean it doesn't make any sense didn't make any sense to start off with so yeah that's that hope this helps and uh, see you in the next video cheers from the dark lord <laughs>